So, ibig sabihin, depende sa... <laughs> Ref, ha? It's malagal. It's malagal. Oh my gosh! Ang dish na ito, pwedeng pang merienda, pang dinner, or pang party. It's good old spaghetti, pero leveled up. Okay, so naluto ko na yung pasta. Ngayon naman, we will preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. 500 grams of spaghetti, 3 tablespoons olive oil, 6 cloves garlic, 1 white onion, 2 bell peppers, all chopped, half a kilo of lean ground beef, 1 can diced tomatoes, 500 grams of tomato sauce, 2 bay leaves, salt and pepper, a teaspoon of thyme, 3 tablespoons sugar, 8 ounces cream cheese, 2 cups of shredded mozzarella cheese, and 1 third cup of parmesan cheese. So here, sa kabilang pot, nandito na yung aking spaghetti. So I just added a little salt and oil dito sa uh, noodles. So, kasabay na yan habang lulutuin ko yung sauce, at least nakasalang na yung ating spaghetti noodles. Lagyan na natin yung olive oil, one whole onion chop. Lagyan na natin ang garlic. Favorite ko talaga yung garlic. I add it on almost anything. Minsan kahit sa dressing, grated garlic, lagyan mo yan to finish a dish. Ay, grabe, ang sarap. Pero yung garlic, trivia, naalala ko, pag pregnant ako, hindi ko talaga siya kaya. So, ah, hingi ako ng tulong halimbawa kay Manang or sa isa sa mga angels namin dito sa bahay na pwedeng pakigisa and then after gisa, I will take over. So, ito din yung magdadala ng lasa ng dish natin. Gusto nyo dagdagan ng garlic? Okay lang din. Okay, so now let's add our bell peppers. Our ground beef. Now, I suggest, if pupunta kayo sa butcher nyo or sa meat shop, get the lean, yung lean ground beef. Kasi, uh, kapag yung kukunin nyo yung ground round, or kunwari hindi nga yung lean, medyo masyado siyang mataba, and baka nakakaumay sa sauce. Kasi you're adding all the cheeses na, and yung iba pang components ng sauce. So, ito, magiging super meaty yung labas ng spaghetti sauce. As much as possible, I try to read your comments and I'm, I feel so happy kapag nakakabasa ako ng mga comments nyo na nagawa nyo yung recipe or sinerve nyo sa family nyo tas nagustuhan nyo. But feel free to tweak the recipe. Huwag kayo matakot mag-explore and huwag din kayo matakot magkamali sa kusina. Ang daming beses na nangyayari sa akin yun, may mga times na uh, let's say, minsan may time na simpleng adobo na papaasim ko ng sobra. And I think yun yung masarap sa cooking eh, is you're free to to parang explore. Tsaka yung ikaw din as a cook, nag-grow ka. Kasi kung hindi ka magkakamali, hindi ka rin matututo. Let's say this one, gusto nyong dagdagan ng chili flakes para mas spicy, go ahead. Gusto nyo dagdagan ng celery, pwede rin naman. Try nyo, mali nyo, mas mali ah! Be free, you know. Buti hindi ito na ano. Okay, continue, sorry. Grabe. Promise, makakaganti ako sa kanya. Di ba may nakakaganti ni Manang? I will avenge Manang. And everybody else here na naging biktiman niya po. Alright. Balik. Balik dito sa niluluto natin. Now, I will already season. Pero later on, kapag gusto niyo pa mag-season, we will do that. Bakit magsi-season ako ngayon? Kasi gusto ko lumasa na rin yung ground beef. Ayoko yung parang sometimes nangyayari, the sauce is tasty or malasa yung sauce. Tapos pag mo sa ground beef, parang walang lasa. Di ba nangyayari yon? So, ito yung pwede natin gawin para maiwasan yon. So, yan. Nakasizon na yung ground beef. Now, let's add the bay leaf or leaves. So, ba't ko nilagay yan pampabango? Added flavor. So, tay lang natin for a few more seconds. Sige, hayaan nyo lang siya dyan. 
Now, let me check my pasta. Let's not overcook the pasta. Remember, let's try. Okay na. Okay, so paano nyo malalaman pag luto na? If you don't see any white thing na. Alright. So, idedrain na natin to. This one will continue cooking this. Okay, so now let's add our pepper. Our canned tomatoes. I added one cup of water kasi kakapal pa siya eh, Because you will still add the tomato sauce later. Tsaka kasi habang um, pinapakuluan natin yung tomato, yung canned tomatoes, magsitaken pa yung sauce niyan. So, para mamaya, hindi siya maging super kapal. Parang tama lang siya na we can still spread the sauce dun sa pasta. Or madali siyang i-mix in. Let this simmer for 5 minutes. Ooh! Alright. Okay, now let's add the tomato sauce. Okay, now, yung thyme, add natin. Now, I'm going to add sugar. Pero yung sugar natin is to taste. So, meaning depende sa panglasa nyo. If Mga kids yung kakain, and like here in the Philippines, they like the spaghetti sauce medyo sweet. Baka you'd like to add siguro like 1 tablespoon to 2 tablespoons. But if medyo mas adults yung kakain, siguro maybe just 1 teaspoon is enough. So, depende sa panglasa nyo. Let's taste it. Mm, okay na siya for me. But if you're making this at home, this is the time when you can adjust your seasoning. I'll check you. Do you want to add more salt, pepper, sugar? Do you want to make it spicy? And then, again, you can add a little bit of water if super thick yung sauce. Kasi you want it to be not so thick na yung tama lang, yung thickness niya. Kasi kung hindi, madali siyang mag the dry sa pasta. And don't forget, we have to remove yung ating leaves. Yay! So now, our sauce is ready. But before that, so soften muna natin yung cream cheese. Get a spatula. Ganyan ninyo na lang siya. This will help make the cream cheese uh, spreadable on top of our pasta. Kasi kung hindi, we will end up with chunks of cream cheese on top. This is my baking dish. Nag-spray ako ng non-stick spray. Spread the pasta evenly. So, ito yung first layer. Ngayon, sa-spread na natin yung cream cheese on top. Yes. We're adding cream cheese kasi ito yung magpapa-level up ng ating baked spaghetti. But it will add to the creaminess. And then, mas mababalance niya yung um, sweetness and the acidity of the sauce. So, ganyan lang siya on top. If you don't like to spread yung cream cheese nyo on top na ganito, may option din kayo na habang the pasta is very, very hot, you already mix in the cream cheese sa pasta. So, magandang uh, option din yun kasi at least yung pasta evenly coated siya with the cream cheese. Pour that pasta sauce on top. So, if you notice, yung sauce niya nasa taas. It's not the usual na nakamix in na yung sauce. So, pag sinerve nyo to, your guests would have to mix it muna bago nila kainin. Look at that! <laughs> Masarap kasi talaga. Mmm! We will add our grated mozzarella cheese. If you like the more affordable version or yung mas madaling hanapin, I suggest you get quick melt cheese. So, grate it lang and then the same thing. Just put it on top. For me, hindi ka pwede um over sa cheese. Yung talaga nagpapasarap. For our parmesan, sprinkle generously.
Trish na ba? Yes. Tell the truth. Mm -hmm. amoy, amoy pa lang. Masarap na eh. Ay, muna. Masarap siya. Hindi ko sinasabi ito dahil asawa kita, pero masarap talaga. Sarap mo na ah, masarap yung pagka-creamy pagka niya. Approved by the Hapian. Pasado to. Ito, ininegosyo namin to. <laughs> Approved na rin na yung mga chikiting. And then guys, uh, please, if nagustuhan nyo to ng gift na gusto nyo yung recipe, please do share our recipe and don't forget, like and subscribe na rin kayo to mm. my channel. And um, if you have uh, comments or other questions, I believe na we can learn from each other. Itong channel naman na to, hindi lang para sa mga mahilig magluto, kahit yung mga newbie, yung mga baguhan sa kitchen. I believe na we can learn from each other. And kayo rin, feel free to share with me yung inyong recipes or comments. And if you do recreate this, uh, please don't forget to tag me. And yun lang, I'm so happy na nakapag-share ako ulit ng oh, recipe with you guys. And looking forward to sharing more of um, our family adventures na rin. Bye guys! Thanks Thank so much for watching! Thanks! Hello, Babu!